all right ladies and gentlemen so here we are finally dude the video you guys been waiting for today what i'm going to be doing is showing you the new settings that i ended up coming right here with the uh apex legends with season two because i know season two ended up having something different non that's something not only i noticed but a lot of other people noticed as well as far as the movement when it came to the advanced settings now some people say that you know don't move the advanced settings because you know there's really no need but dude the way I've been doing this, the way you guys saw me drop that 18 uh, kill gameplay, the advanced settings definitely does make a big difference. But nonetheless, dude, let's get to it, and that way you guys can get this thing working with you as well. So first off, let's get. To, we're gonna get into the settings. Let's get into the settings real quick. Of course, you're gonna want to go to. Dude, I had 3-3 here. You want to know why? Because I was using my controller on stream. And dude, I dropped 5 kills. I felt so happy. I was like, yeah. <laughs> 5 kills. I mean, not much, but you know. I haven't used a controller like, what, over a year? But hey, it felt good. Let's go to the event settings. Make sure this is on. So here, let's go with the uh, dead zone. On the dead zone, it's just going to be one click. By one click, I mean from here to here. One click. That's it. Now... The outer threshold is going to be three clicks from the line. All right. Let's see. Let's go to it. It's going to be right here from, from where the line is, right behind the line. One, two, three. That's all it's going to be. Response curve right on the line. It's going to be target compensation. Make sure that's on. Now, for the Yaspi, dude, this is what I was having trouble with when it came to uh, the hip. I don't know if you guys remember me on, on stream. I was a. Uh, I was saying I was having trouble with this. That's why I haven't released the settings yet. But now I got it down. And dude, it's awesome. Let's get this going. Well, it's going to be 13 clicks from the line. All right. So let's go all the way over here. Right behind the line. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's what it's going to be. Same. It's going to go the same for the pitch. Pitch is going to be another 13 clicks from behind the line. Turning yaw speed, it's going to be right on the line you see that it's gonna be right on it now this one these three these three you don't have to worry about don't worry about them they're gonna be off now let's get to the ads because the ads is where it felt just amazing dude where i was able to enter that aim assist without having to feel that sticky ugly feeling that a lot of people that you know that don't like the aim assist um have trouble with i didn't have trouble with it uh with the aim assist now so this was so good let's give it a shot so on the ads yaw speed it's going to be 20 clicks from behind the line all right remember just like i showed you in the other ones it's going to be right behind that one line which is right here that one it's going to be 20 clicks from there now on the ads pitch speed it's going to be 22 from behind the line for that i mean like i said once again from over here it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's what it's going to be. Now for this one, dude, for the ADS turning extra yaw, that's going to be from 19 from behind the line once again. 19 from the line forward. And last but not least, the tuning pitch. The ADS tuning pitch. That's going to be 11 from behind the line. Once again, it's going to be from here. Right behind the line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now the last two, don't even worry about them. Oh, what happened? We got disconnected. Oh yeah, because I didn't move in, in the game. But yes, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as we're here... Uh, should I play some, I don't know if I should play some gameplay in the background, if I should use a uh, footage from yesterday of me getting that 18 kills. Yeah, you know what, I'll just use that same footage of me getting the 18 kills in the background. Let me show you my Zim settings now as well, because these are also important when it comes to this game. I mean, to when it comes to uh, this specific configuration. Let's get to it. So for those of you that are new to the Zim and you don't know how to activate these settings, don't worry, I'll walk you right through it. What you're going to want to do is you want to click the top three buttons on the right. And you're going to go to new configuration. Once you're there, make sure you type in Apex Legends. Or if you don't want to go through the trouble of not having to, just scroll down and you'll see it right here. These settings are going to work perfect for either PS4 or Xbox. I already have my settings, so I'm just going to go right ahead and put them on. 
All right, so before we go any further, remember this is gonna be at a 12K DPI, and I'm using this speci specifically because I'm using the G Pro wireless, and this one, it doesn't hit at a thousand hertz consistently, but it really doesn't matter because I mean, it's only a two milliseconds. Is it something noticeable that the eye can see? No. It's more like just being eager to have a thousand, I guess that you could say. So if yours doesn't reach at a thousand, don't worry, just put it at 500. And by that, let's go here. I'm gonna show you once again, click the top three buttons on the right. You're gonna go to global settings. Enable for, in order for you to be able to see the settings that I'm about to show you through here, you're gonna have to enable expert configuration. Now from the response curve, I have mine at 500. Once again, why? Because my mouse doesn't reach the 1000 polling rate. That's exactly why. Once you're done enabling those two, click save and then back out. All right, now let's get to the main part of the settings. So in game, right here, well not in game, but on my on my Zim here, my sensitivity is gonna be at 37.50. All right, I'm gonna have no ballistic curve. <clears throat> I'm gonna have no ballistic curves. Synchronization is gonna be off. I'm gonna have a smoothing of two, YX ratio 1.00, steady aim zero, boost zero. Now as we go down, you're gonna click on the little w, WASD button. You're gonna scroll down where you see that simulation analog behavior. This, it should be here at zero. You should be able to see that on yours on zero, but just click another minus and it's gonna turn it off completely. Once it turns it off completely, you're set. Now let's go to the ADS. So on the ADS, mine is going to be at 24.50. I'm not gonna have any ballistic curves either. Synchronization off, a smoothing of six. The Y X, X ratio is gonna be at 1.25. Steady aim, zero, boost, zero. And that's as far as that one goes. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for these settings. Now, of course, I have all my button layout here, but this is specifically for a Razer Tartarus Chroma. So if you don't have this, it's basically going to be useless for you. A lot of people have been asking me, like, how's my Orb Weaver been? How have I been using? How I've been liking it? Dude, that thing is amazing. I love it. But I use I use the Orb Weaver more on the PC side because it has that extra layer of buttons that I really need when it comes to the end game as far as uh, on PC. Xbox, it doesn't really require it. Personally, I prefer the Orb Weaver more on the PC side. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the video. That is, that's, that's all I have for you. Unfortunately, I will not have a daily verse for you here today, but I will want to let you know that Jesus loves you so much, man. God loves you so much, so much that he gave his one and only son specifically for you. So you can be saved and find your way back to the father. That is something that's just so amazing, dude. Unconditional love. He will love you no matter what. Unconditional love. That's what it means. That you didn't do anything to, to deserve it. You didn't have to do anything. It was given to you as a gift, dude. And that's just so amazing. But nonetheless, God bless you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Remember, if you guys did like this video, remember to leave a like. That would be very much appreciated. And hey, I stream basically every day, like around... 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. around that time frame. That's the usual time frame that I uh, that I stream. If you guys want to join, hey, you're more than welcome to. Um, have it. That is it. Once again, God bless you. I love you. In Jesus' name. Have a good one. Bye bye. Oh yeah, one more thing, ladies and gentlemen. Before I forget, dang it. Wait, what? What was I gonna say? Oh yes. Wait, no. Was it that? No. Was it? I don't think so. Oh yeah. It's regarding on the, wait, what was it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dang it. It's regarding on the firmware. And also the, there's going to be a link to this specific settings. That way you guys can get them. It's going to be in a paste bin. All you got to do is just go to the description, click it there, and it'll take you directly to the settings. All you got to do is copy and paste and you're good to go. But yes, also remember that this specific settings, this settings were made on the firmware of 702 both on the zim manager and on the zim apex so make sure you go ahead you update that zim i have a link in the description for that as well and you'll be set so what's it going to be you're going to have to update your zim 
up to your Zim Apex Manager to 702. That's the one. And then to copy this direct settings, just go directly to the pastebin link in the description below, and you're set. That's it. God bless you. Bye-bye.